Hi there, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoy this video and consider subscribing. If you have any questions about the techniques that you see me use in this video, please leave them in the comments. I'll always get back to you. Check the description box for links to the products used. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to be working on tile and I'll be using alcohol ink. What I want to do is create a ripple effect on the tile without actually using any heat. I want to use a brush or a marker to do this. And I've done this multiple times on Yupo paper and it works beautifully. It doesn't work well on, on a photo paper, so don't even bother trying. And I'm sure at some point I did this on tile as well, but it's been so long that I don't remember. So the first thing I did was put down a few different colors on my tile without any thought in mind, just threw the colors on the tile. And then I wanted to make sure that it was completely dry. So I used my dryer for that. And once it was completely dry, I thought to use an aqua brush that I use for my watercolors. And previously there was water in it, so I emptied the water and I put alcohol in it. And I tried to dry it as best I could. So I don't know if the issue was that there was still some water in the brush or if um, it was just that it didn't work well enough. It felt as though the brush, the bristles of the brush were too soft. So I gave it a try and it didn't seem to work very well. It was either releasing too much alcohol or not enough alcohol. And if it releases too much alcohol, it creates blooms. So then I decided to try my alcohol ink blending marker. And this is a marker that just has alcohol in it and it's dual tipped. It has a chisel tip and then a fine tip on the other end. And this worked really, really well. And this was my first attempt. I tried this four different times. So you can see that I'm getting those lines, those, it, it looks like ripples. And I wish that I had kept this one because I think that this one was my favorite. You have to let me know in the comments which one you liked best. This one to me looked like a seascape. It looked like the ocean and the sky and I thought it was really pretty, but I sprayed it down with alcohol and I wiped it away. Then what's coming up next is my second attempt. I filmed that, I didn't film that, but that was my second try and I didn't like it. I think it was the color combination that I did not like. So I decided to try using a paintbrush because that's how I used to do it on Yupo paper. I would use an angled brush, but I couldn't find the angled brush. So I decided to use this little flat brush. And I just wanted to go over these lines again, just to practice with the brush to see how it would go. And this actually worked really, really well. It just came out too light. And of course I didn't like that. And going in this direction, I found that the colors were blending together and I didn't like that. So I decided to switch direction to see how um, the colors would blend if I could still keep the separation in colors. So at this point, I realized that the brush is the way to go. The blending marker worked really well, but I liked the way the brush worked best. So that was, I think that was attempt number three. I didn't like that at all. So I sprayed it with some alcohol and wiped it away. And that's the beauty of working with tile. If you don't like it, you can remove it. 
And I think this, if for those of you who like to make coasters with the tiles, I think this would be a really nice technique to try. And then you can resin over it once you seal it with the Kamar varnish and the UV protection. So now for my fourth attempt, I think this is my fourth attempt. I just decided to use the blue and the pink. And once those two colors blend together, I'll get purple, so I'll get a third color. So I just used the brush to move the color around and make sure that the entire tile was covered with the ink. And then I switched my paper towel because when I clean my brush on the paper towel, I don't want to be picking up the colors from my previous attempts. And you can see that I have another paper towel in my other hand. And every time I dip the brush in the alcohol, I blot it on the paper towel because for this technique, you want to make sure that the brush is barely damp with alcohol. And what I'm doing is creating these lines and I make sure that my next line touches the line before it. And this was working really, really well. So I switched directions just to make it a little bit interesting and get more color combinations. And you can see why it's really important to use a small brush for this. Because you want those lines to be very close together. And you can see that I'm just touching the bottom of the previous line with the brush and running it across. Well, we are getting close to the end of the video. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed trying the different ways and finding a way that worked best on tile. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you give us this a try. Let me know in the comments which attempt you liked best. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description box for links to the uh, products used. And I'm also pinning the links in the comment section to make it easier for you to find. And if you have any questions about anything that you've seen me do or any of the products, let me know in the comment section. I will always get back to you. And there you go. This turned out really pretty. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.